Back home here, people in Arden Hills are demanding safety improvements at a busy intersection that's seen a pair of deadly crashes over the last half dozen years. Last week, a toddler was killed in a crash involving a school bus at the Highway 96 and Old Highway 10 intersection. Paul Bloom is live in our newsroom with more on the efforts and a tent city council meeting last night as well. Paul. It sure was, Kelsey Randy. We are talking about three young lives lost in a single intersection over just a handful of years. Some in that community, including the Arden Hills mayor and city council members, argue enough is enough. They want immediate safety fixes. An online petition demanding action has hit 2,000 signatures just tonight. The worst kind of accident, you can, well, other than head on, is a T bone. So, and, and that's what's happening at that intersection, and people are dying. Arden Hills Mayor David Grant lending his voice to the debate over safety at the Highway 96 Old Highway 10 intersection, not far from Mountain View High School and Interstates 35W and 694. The scene of two deadly crashes since 2016. Just last week, a toddler killed here in a frightening crash between a school bus and family pickup truck. This is something that we have the power to change, and it shouldn't take children dying for us to take action on this. This is a sad event. No one designs things wanting this to be the outcome. On Monday night, Ramsey County's Public Works Director and a traffic engineer briefed city leaders on potential safety fixes for the intersection. One immediate change made at the county-operated intersection, the flashing yellow light for westbound 96 traffic attempting to turn left onto Old Highway 10 in the direction of the high school was suspended between the hours of 6.30 a.m. and 8 p.m. daily. That's not enough for some on the council who believe flashing yellow turn signals are no good for a busy area that draws lots of young, inexperienced drivers. I have two young ch children who would attend Mounds View High School and the thought of that intersection and them having to travel through that terrifying intersection daily really um, scares me. And as for that online petition I referenced off the top with its 2,000 signatures tonight, in addition to permanently disabling that flashing yellow left turn arrow, organizers want some of the intersection signal heads relocated to improve visibility. It's unclear tonight how long Ramsey County's full safety assessment will take, but listening into that meeting last night, it sounds like we're talking about a few months here. Live in the newsroom tonight, Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right, Paul, thank you.